beginner friendly AI technology. Let's go. This is like a brand new feature that Canva released. I'm really not sure how many other people out there are talking about it, or at least talking about it on a beginner level. So and I don't know how many people are uh, are talking about it and applying it to teaching. So if you're new here, hi, ew, no, just kidding. My name is Alexa Broda. I teach high school English and I love to vlog about all things teaching. Here we go. Lately, I'm always experimenting with different forms of artificial intelligence, and for about the last week or so, I have been experimenting with Canva's magic presentation tool, which incorporates AI into its slideshows. I've literally created four slideshows in one week, and it is taking me almost no time at all. It doesn't create the whole slideshow for you. What it does right now pretty well is it creates a draft, something that looks like you spent a ton of time on it. If you're familiar with my vlogs and my channel, then you know I don't typically record through Screencastify. I tried it for the first time with this vlog. I thought it was the best way to show you what this technology is all about. There might be a few awkward moments. All right, so let me show you step by step what I typically do. I open up two tabs, so I keep one tab open on Canva. And normally I would prefer to keep the other tab open on ChatGPT, but it's blocked in my school district. So I will have two tabs open on Canva. In one tab, I'm going to have a document open. The reason being is I'm going to use Canva's artificial intelligence, just to give you an idea of what I mean. Here, you there's a magic right option. I will come back to that shortly. More importantly, here's where we are going to live today. Presentations. I figured this out. It only came out about a week or two ago, two weeks max. Let me show you here. There are all types of presentations you can create. I'm keeping this beginner friendly, so let's just start with a regular old presentation. Nothing fancy. So now, if I just move my little picture thing over, hide that. All right, here's our favorite button. Magic design. Use five or more words to describe your presentation topic. Just ask yourself, what, do you, what are you drafting? So for me, I'm getting ready to talk about Amanda Gorman's poetry. I really just want basic um, Amanda Gorman, Amanda Gorman's poetry. That's it. Now, if Canva has photos of Amanda Gorman, they will upload, but they do not. So if I want pictures of Amanda Gorman, I have to input them myself. Now, this is much better. The power of Amanda Gorman's poetry. I don't need to see anymore. I'm selecting it. I like this one. Introduction to Amanda Gorman. I mean, if you zoom in here, it's accurate. I'm just skimming the surface, but it's accurate. That is Amanda Gorman, the significance of her work. I mean, this is a really good draft. Look, it has her themes. Yes. Hope, unity, justice. Yes. Notable works. I love it. Create. Now I have a framework to work with. I'm going to take it a little bit further. I'm going to take it a little bit further. Here are some examples of what I would do with this. So I'm just going to move this over. I do not claim that Canva is perfect by any means. I wanna show you how I can easily change this. So if I just look up some photos of Amanda Gorman. I'm just gonna do a little drag and drop, okay? This one, it's right there. I just love this picture of her. So if I do this, notice how it pops up right here. I can there I'm just gonna do that 
definitely replacing this hamster. I will replace the hamster introduction with another picture photo of Amanda Gorman. I'll use this one. Love it, have an introduction, have not been doing this for that long. The significance of her work, I'm just, I like the text. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll make it a little larger. Another picture. Mm, let's do Vogue. I like Vogue. On Vogue, you must be cool. Make it larger. Nice, let's keep going. Okay, so now here we have, oh look, I didn't even have to look up any quotes, not yet anyway. The hill we climb, so you know I'm going to find a photo from the hill we climb. All right, this is from when she sung, the, sung, read her poem, The Hill We Climb. Themes in her poetry. You know what? In Canva, I'm just going to go to Elements. Let me show you how awesome Elements are. What happens when I type theme or poetry? That works. That works. Next, notable works. I want to make this larger. I might not even need AI right now. All right, here's an example of where I will use AI technology. So I'm going to come over here. Fun facts about Amanda Gorman. So I'm going to add one more slide. Just for the sake of showing you some other tools of Canva, I'm also going to show you an easy way to uh, lay out a background and, you know, just pick a color scheme. Click this a couple of times until you see one that you like. I'm going to choose yellow. I just want to refer students to a bit more. Cool. Um, scroll down to, I got to go to apps. Apps, YouTube, use. I don't use YouTube here very often. But here I can do, uh, I can type Amanda Gorman recites. Okay, perfect. Perfect. There it is. Make it larger. when you present it and it will look a little something like this. Before I go, I thought that I would share with you a slideshow that I shared with one of my classes today and I created it in minutes just the way that I'm sharing with you right now. So just go to present. I put together a super quick presentation on what a one pager is. Whoops. Um, this text that you see here was created, and I mean, I edited it to meet my our, our purpose here in class, but this was all um, done with AI pretty much. Examples of one pagers. Just go through examples. It was so easy, you guys. I can't begin. Here's another one of my little videos. <laughs> they got quite a kick out of it. Um, yeah, so that's it. I hope you find this helpful and try it out. Test it out for yourself.